Hello everyone, my name is Ernest Holloway and welcome to Ask a Developer. Our first question comes from Carrie and her question is, if I'm an Android developer, what tools can I use to be able to evaluate memory performance for my applications? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a high level overview of two tools. The first one is a common one known as Eclipse MAT, which stands for Memory Analyzer Tool. This tool can be used from within Eclipse to be able to evaluate things such as memory leaks or where you're using excessive memory whenever you're developing your Android applications. The key goal that you have when you're developing applications is of course is you want them to run as fast as possible and of course on an embedded device you want it to use as little memory as possible. The second tool that you can use when it comes to making sure that your UI is responsive as possible is the Hierarchy Viewer. The Hierarchy Viewer basically allows you to take a look at all the UI elements and how it's laid out on your screen and allows you to basically pinpoint where certain elements can be done uh, with higher efficiency so that you can get faster redraw rates. In addition to those tools, if you'd like to be able to check out more, uh, two places that you can go to is you can always check out Stack Overflow to see, learn about additional memory performance and analysis tools that are available. And then you can also check out Google Developers website um, to be able to get more insight on tools that you can use to, uh, to steadily increase the performance of your application. Our next question comes from Brian. Brian's question is that as an Android developer just starting out, what version of the operating system should I support? And my answer for that is that it all depends on what it is that you're trying to do. Um, if you take a look at Google Developers website and you look on the dashboard, you'll see that 72% of the market basically supports Ice Cream Sandwich, also known as ICS and above. So that basically means that if you're looking to be able to build an application, if you support the minimum level of Ice Cream Sandwich, you'll know that you'll be able to target 72% of the market right off the back. One of the nice things about being able to support Ice Cream Sandwich and above is that you get access to things such as the Action Bar, uh, which is what Google added to be able to give um, consistent navigation across multiple devices. Um, and you get access to many of the advanced UI features that you have with ICS and, and above. On the other hand, if you're working on either a personal or a, a work project where you need to support a larger myriad of devices, then the minimum level that you want to support at that point is Gingerbread. With Gingerbread, one of the nice things um, that has happened is that we have great support libraries out there such as Action Bar Sherlock, which allows you to incorporate those consistent navigation elements that you would get in Ice Cream Sandwich and above, even though you're running on a, on a lower um, supported uh, operating system. So again, when you're taking a look at what you want to support, you're not going to do bad by going with ICS and above since that's what 72% of the users are using. But on the other hand, if you need to support a larger array of devices, supporting gingerbread is definitely the way to go. That's all for Ask a Developer. Tweet your questions with hashtag AskADev or leave them in a comment section.